are still fueled by the ones that sleep. And in less than eight months, AI has grown exponentially, making it ever so easy for creators and hobbies to explore and create engaging content. And with the rate that this is going, there seems to be no limit in sight for what AI can do once trained properly. And today we're seeing an impressive point-based manipulation tool which uses generative adversarial network to perform some impressive photo manipulation, introducing Drag Your Gun or Drag Gun for short. This is an interactive point-based manipulation on generative manifold and it is made in collaboration with the folks at Google AR and VR USA, MIT CCU USA, Max Planck Institute for Informatics in Germany, the Sabrican Research Center for Visual Computing, Interactive and AI, and the University of Pennsylvania, USA. And the idea behind this particular research is to synthesize visual content that meets users' need with flexible and precise controllability, and these are targeted for poses, shapes, expressions, and layout of generated objects. Of course, there have been several approaches prior to this, but previous research method used manual annotated training data or prior 3D model, which often lacked flexibility, precision, and generally wasn't looking so good. And this method has actually studied the science behind controlling generative networks by drawing any point of the image to precisely reach a target point and interactively alter the image as through drag gun, anyone can deform and manipulate any image as they wish. It is also worth mentioning that these manipulations are performed on a learned generative image manifold of the GAN which tends to produce a more realistic output even for challenging scenarios. And with drag gun, anyone can manipulate cars, animals, human faces, human poses, landscape, and so on by just simply clicking, dragging, and repositioning any point of the image that you want and uses the generative network to compensate and create content that meets the user's requirements. So at certain times, you might decide to take a photo and reposition that photo afterwards, and this is definitely going to come in very handy for that. And with the preview that we have here, interestingly and slightly unrelated, this reminds me of an online AI tool called Monster Mash, which we looked at some time ago. This is used for creating 3D balloon-like models from closed sketches. The idea behind the fact that you can literally use a tool like this to create 3D models by just sketching and also using a point-based approach to animate and export these to any DCC app of choice for more animation or even mesh editing is quite interesting. And just like these, more and more AI tools are coming and it will only get better. And yes, recently we did talk about the skybox.ai which allows you to simply create skyboxes by typing in a prompt and that has actually improved since the last time we discussed about them. The folks at Blockade Labs have actually added up a prompting and also a digital painting tool that just simply allows you to either create, remix or paint in and generate an AI landscape or an AI environment of choice. This can be brought into your DCC tool and you can use this to relight your games or your 3D environment. And this, just like many other AI tools, are getting updates every single day, week or even months. And with the idea of controlled creativity now being placed in the hands of artists, hobbies and creators, this AI tool for sure will be something that lots of people would definitely love to play with as the days proceed. So lots of AI tools are coming, Dragon itself is coming and would be a great tool for photographers and also image editors. With tools getting more refinement and use cases, it's just interesting what the future holds. And for those who love to explore this, read the paper and also get acquainted with it, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can see all of these things for yourself and get on with it. Although the code for Drag Gun is currently not available and will be released to the public sometime in June. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about these ones in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.